Alrighty guys, welcome back here to another episode of Sly 3. Honor Among Thieves, we are going to head into the second uh, episode, I guess, area. Uh, Rumble Down Under, which is situated in Australia. Whoops, wrong button. Here we go, let's start off the episode. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But, little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. Well, 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 I am not doing that. Okay, that, okay, Mario's missing his body. Maybe it's because I didn't do the hazard room, but, uh, <laughs> it's back. All right, um, yeah, this is Australia, mate. Um, it doesn't look like this in real life, I can guarantee you guys that. And I don't think there's a place called Yulandulu. I might be wrong, but I've never heard of it. Hello, but we've got dingoes, and bigger dingoes, and a kangarooster, who has loot, which I'm going to yoink. Thank you. I'll take it. Let's see what this does. Hehehehe. <laughs> No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call Master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome! He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Ah, <laughs> uh, Murray. Never change. Uh-oh. Ow! Oh, wait, I have a smoke bomb, but I'm too high up. Quick, get away! I'm sorry, what? I've never seen a kangaroo jump that high before. Jump, and bounce, and swing, and land, and jump, and swing, and bounce. Whoops. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. 
the smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. The unspeakable. Alright. Can I land on these spinny my dudes? I assume so. Hell yeah. Hey, there's that guy again. Wow! Look at these coins! Oh my god. Okay, it's gone. Pretty much just a Jedi, you know? Boing. Hey! A crocodile. Man, I love Australia. Oops. <laughs> okay. I thought it was jump and hit the circle button. And I've been doing that. What is going on? Okay. Okay. How come he can just jump up here? You literally just said... What? You need the wall hooks to bring your machinery up, yet you can just jump up here. Alrighty. Woo! You can do it. Look at this alcohol. Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru was fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they'd just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him. My master's a goner. Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. His ears are all bent. And it's like bent through his hat. Is that, is that normal? Does Sly's ears usually bend like that? I don't think so. We shall see. Where am about to my head and... Over that way. Let's go, shall we? Nailed it. Jump. Didn't know what hit him. Dun 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 dun. Oh yes. More ninja slaying. How can you see Ayers Rock from here, buddy? I mean... Ooh, helicopter, watch out. You should be able to see Ayers Rock from over here. But you cannot. Is that supposed to be it? If that's supposed to be it, that's tiny. You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Hana, over Darfanga. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how is You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. Job complete. We saw as rock. That was our job. The guru won't leave the stockade until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Ayers Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased and the guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation, because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. 
something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage for one of the miners' caves that should make getting up to the guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the mask of dark earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation. Where did we get all these photos from, you may ask? We have no idea. Health extractor, berserker charge, spin level attack, spin attack level 2. We get to be any of them. I think I want to be Morrison. Outback operation day one. Split. Spelunking. What the hell is that? <laughs> Just smoked him. Ball time. I was gonna just about to say, um, how did he traverse all this stuff when he was learning the ball form and, and um, everything? But then I realized that it's just been absolutely ruined by these guys, so it probably didn't look this bad. Oh yeah, we can now um, pickpocket as Murray. I didn't, I didn't even think to mention that. You can now pickpocket as Murray. So you just pick them up. Press the circle button and give him a shake, and you'll get the loot too. Isn't that crazy? Jumpy time. Boing. All the way over there. Oi, there's two of them. I reckon I can take on two of them at the same time. I reckon I could, actually. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, well, that works out. Head into this random creepy cave to go see your old koala bear friend. Oh yeah, by the way, they're not called koala bears. They're called koalas. They're not bears. It's not a polar bear or a black bear. It's a koala. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh what? Ha! Jump! Jump! Just made it. This'll work. <laughs> Whoops. There's nothing else to throw it at. I love it. Holy crap. <laughs> Stupid ball form. That was so annoying. He wouldn't. What the hell? Pick her up. Thank you. Use your app. 
original ball form to bounce on top of the piston and smash it down. Build up enough hydraulic pressure and the door is sure to open. Piston beware! You're about to be bound! Do you know what was really cool then? Is Mari's voice was echoing. And Bentley's was not. Because obviously Mari's in a cave. But they put that much thought into the um to the sound just of Murray just the fact that he's just for these scenes he's in a cave that's crazy I think that's I think that's pretty cool of them ow thank you Damn it. Oh, well. I made my hands get hella nervous. I forgot to do that. Ah, uh, this is the annoying one. You just keep bouncing on the pink things until they all go down. Bounce up, bounce up, bounce a roo. If anyone doesn't know what that's from, that's from. The SpongeBob SquarePants movie game. Played that many a time too. Then he gets hella excited and says, I'm a goofy goober rock. I did it! Three against one, and I still took you piston chumps to school. Get pistoned, bro. <laughs> oh, I landed on my neck. On a bus. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna shake him. He's got some loot. Better be big. All of that for only a silver medal. Ow! Ow! Bro! Oh, I'm getting smoked. Oh, run out of the way as soon as he lands. Always run out of the way. That Joey is friggin' massive too. Which makes sense, but like... <laughs> Mine can't do that. I love it. Do I just run back? I can just run back. Okay, good. I hope that this is how I get back. Oh my lord. Maybe it isn't. Wait, is it? I can just exit out the door. Haha, -ha, see? You look around, guys. I was going to say, I don't remember um, walking out there. Miners, gyrocopters, and a mask of dark earth. Yeah, that's a lot to deal with. But we'll help you, I promise. Oh, da, da. Thanks, Guru. I'm happy to see you, too.
That boy got the shaky eyes. That's for sure. Alright, now we can easily get back up anytime we want. We just bounce off this boy that we just happened to perfectly throw here. How convenient. What's it time for? Hey, what's this? Big truck! I don't think we're going to do big truck yet. Dark caves. Dum, 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 dum. Hey, I'll take you. Shake, shake, shake. Yoink. On the ground. Uh oh. Thank you. Now bounce. Hell yeah. Huh. We can get hella high with this now. Get people's attention. I'm invisible. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Where the hell's my safe house? Oh, there it is, that way. Hello, Mr. Big Guy. Oh, yeah. It's a freaking bomb, man. Yeah, because that wouldn't sink pieces of metal floating in acid. Ah, oh, I found it. Easy. Not even having to try. Nailed it. Thank you, Mr. Bad Guy. It is time to head back in, and I think we'll end the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Sly 3. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, make sure you are subscribed and hit that like button if you want to see more. Thank you again, bye.